Hey guys, Tony Luce here with Network Optics. I'm here with Norman Grafsma. Did I pronounce that right? Pretty, pretty okay. It's, it's Grafsma. He's Dutch. Yeah. We're in Amsterdam right now. It's our new office. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the uh, 3.1 cloud client uh, that just came out. Um, so, first thing you want to do is go to your cloud account and log in. Um, what you're going to see is your systems, like you typically do, all your systems connected to your account. Let's go ahead and select one of the systems. Um, in the, and it looks pretty similar to what it looks like in 3.0, right? You still have your users here. Um, you still had your system view. But there's a new tab when you go into a system, which is called the view tab. Um, and this is your cloud client. Uh, it, it works just like the web admin interface, the web client. Yeah, it looks um, similar. Very similar. Um, so you still have your one camera at a time. Um, you can see this is a fisheye of our new office here. Um, you have the ability to go in and select a higher low quality. Uh, you can go full screen with it, right? Escape out of that. Yeah. You can also use the timeline just like you could before. You still have the uh, uh, flex timeline like we have in the desktop client. So jump back and forth to the different video, jump to a different camera, all the standard functionality you would normally expect. Um, in 3.1, we did introduce some additional features in the cloud client, but those are only available on the web admin interface, so on your yeah. local server web admin interface. Um, those will not be available in the cloud. But you can see this is an evolution of cloud, so now you have the ability to view cameras from your cloud-connected systems in the cloud interface, and we'll be continuing to develop out more and more uh, cloud-based features as we move along. Cool. Any questions? No questions. It's very clear. Norman is very clear on this. Bye, guys. Bye.